Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to have buttons in Lightning data table. Um, the requirement uh, for this uh, uh, Lightning web component uh, development is uh, I will have a Lightning data table and uh, I will have a couple of uh, uh, columns where I will have buttons. So using this button, when the end users click it, I will perform some actions. Uh, so for this demo, um, I have added two buttons. One is view and the other one is edit. When the users click view, it will open the account record. If they click edit, it will pop up and it will have an edit screen where the users can edit the account record. Uh, so let's see the coding for it. So I'm using lightning data table. Uh, key field is ID. Data is accounts variable. Columns is columns uh, variable. Uh, I am uh, hiding the checkbox and uh, show number uh, row number I am setting it to true so that it will show the row numbers and on row action I am using a method called called row action so this is very very important <coughs> and here in my JavaScript uh, in the columns I, this is my uh, constant the variable uh, I will be using that here for this columns so this columns will be used here so here in this columns we have type called button and using that uh, type button we have an attribute for that called type attributes where we can set label name title whether it it will be disabled or uh, uh, enabled and what will be the value that will be passed when the users click that button and what is the icon position for that so all these attributes we can set it so in order to display button in the in a column in lighting data table we have to use type button and whenever there is a key change for this lightning input so whenever as I type the value will be uh, updated in this uh, uh, search key which is also a constant and then uh, uh, I'm using fetch accounts uh, which is nothing but I have an apex class and I have a method called fetch accounts I'm using I'm calling that uh, particular class and method so as I type it will go and search for uh, uh, accounts which matches that keyword I'm using uh, um, uh, or I'm uh, searching it in a way uh, since I have added this percentage symbol in the uh, prefix and as well as in the suffix whenever the um, value matches even in between the name of the account it will return so it will return ID name and industry field values so let's demo this and see and and one more important thing is uh, on row action right so when I click it it will uh, it will call this method call row action in the call row I will I will be able to get the key field value so that is nothing but my ID so I will be able to get what is the ID whenever I click view the ID of the account record will be passed and for the action name I have edit and also I have view so if they click edit edit value will be passed if they click view view will be passed so here the name is uh, uh, plays a vital role so whenever they click edit I am using uh, navigation mixin and uh, I am I'm, uh, opening the standard record page in the edit mode and the uh, object AP name I am setting it as uh, account and the record ID is nothing but the record ID the, um, from which it was uh, clicked uh, for example if I have five account records if I selected the third account record view button the third accounts ID will be passed similarly I'm using the same standard record page whenever they click view uh, I'm using the action name as view you using ternary operator you can use uh, just one instead of having uh, two uh, conditions here like if else so let's test this out so I'm going to just type TE so infallible techie so TE is matched and uh, for test 
TE is matched. So if I click view, it will open my uh, record. If I click edit, I will be able to edit the record. So the key here is use type as button and using type attributes you can set what is the label name and based on the, uh, the row action we can capture the name of the button that was clicked and using uh, uh, ID uh, which is uh, clicked uh, so, so always use key field as ID so that it will be unique instead of name and whenever that particular button is clicked using this uh, line of code we can find out which row was clicked I hope it was helpful thank you for watching